Hi again, Urban Gardeners. This is Ken, and I'd like to show you uh, my barrels. Last summer, we had a terrible drought, and you wouldn't believe the water bill that I had to put up with just keeping these fruit trees uh, and plants alive. It was very, very expensive, but I had to do it. I couldn't let my trees die. We had no rain in this area all summer long, just nothing. So I got the idea, plenty of uh, water falling on the roof when it does rain. Why not store it in these barrels here? So I did. I went and I, uh, I got a couple of uh, plastic barrels. I had to cut the tops off of the jigsaw. I had to put this in here, this eaves dropping on the side of my shed, and I collect water. I have quite a number of barrels too. I, uh, I didn't stop at two barrels. I've got seven. Those two over there, and uh, these three beside my house, and uh, these two over here. These are the last two. I have seven uh, water barrels in total. In between the two barrels, I have a little piece of plumbing that I installed there, as you can see. Just a little piece of pipe, drilled a hole, and I put caulking around, keep the water from spilling out, and so I connected up the two barrels that way. And so this summer, this past summer, we were very lucky. We had plenty of rain. But you know what? Even if we didn't have rain that much, these were very convenient. Many, many times I used water from these barrels to water something. And I didn't bother with the hose from, uh, from the house. They're very, very good. There's only one potential problem that you have with barrels like this. Mosquitoes. They tend to want to lay their eggs in any still body of water. So there's uh, there's a problem there. There's a couple of solutions to that problem, though. Screens that cover the tops of the barrel, that would work really good. I know from experience that the people in Australia, they have all their drinking water comes from rainfall because the groundwater isn't that good. It's heavily mineralized. So they use water barrels, huge ones. But they have a problem with mosquitoes, too. So what they found really works is they'll get a couple of tablespoons of kerosene and they'll throw it on top of the water. Any mosquitoes that happen to be in that water are killed because they can't come to the surface to breathe. There's just kerosene there. And the kerosene uh, evaporates in a few days and then all the mosquitoes uh, have been uh, killed and eradicated. And so that's how you can deal with that if you don't have screens. Some people would think negatively about that, putting a material like that on top of a water barrel. But it does evaporate in a couple days in, in the heat. Okay.